ancestors. What do I do? I miss him so much. I need to have him back. How can I do it? I, I know you're there. I know you're on the other side of this portal. I must have him back. As I did, I miss him too much. He was my favourite slime. So, after watching the sunset fall on another day, I began thinking about how I can bring the splat back to life. He was too good for me to lose. I had to do something. I decided to set a carrier pigeon to all my friends and um, it, 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 it walked away. No, 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 you're going the wrong way. So I employed a carrier pigeon to take my messages to my friends somewhere in the world. I, 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 off you go. And he, off he went. Kind of, after waiting for hours, weeks even, I suddenly heard my mailbox being opened. You've got mail. I had mail. I ran outside, opened my mailbox, and there was mail from whoever I sent messages to. I... Yeah. So, took it all out, and I read what I had gotten. I began reading all of the information and all of the mail that had been sent to me, but none of it was any good. So I went into researching, began reading books, or, you know, writing into bookshelves, because that's, a, you, yeah. I finally created a magic spell to revive a slime. Okay. All I need to do now is put these ingredients in the cauldron and hopefully, hopefully, Splat will be back. Right. Egg. Slime block. Bone. Incantation. Golden apple. Okay. Hopefully, it's all, it's all work. Egg. Slime block. That totally went in. We're going to pretend it did. It's, it's definitely, definitely not down there. Bone. Yeah, that went into incantation. Golden apple. Yeah, that went in. Come on, magic. Come on, magic. We need, we need this. We need this. Oh my god, it worked. We, go away. We, we've got, we've got a slime egg. We've got a slime egg. We can. We can bring Splat back! Oh my god, guys, we, we've done it. It's a lot! No, no, it's us. That's, that's not us, um, we're, we're not Frankenstein. Anyway, we have Splat, and that's all we care about. We have him, and he's here. Now, um, I'm going to put them in there. Uh, they were totally not just lying on the floor at all in any way like definitely not um but <laughs> we'll have to figure out where to put splat but anyway i need to go back to not being dark m and being you know normal happy m but that's not my character right now oh my god it's me again oh my god i'm, I'm really happy again yay i'm not even wasn't evil in the first place. I'm not a bad scientist thing again. Yay! You hear me? Just spamming my keyboard. <laughs> we are going to find a home for the splat. I'm not going to say it's 2.0 because, you know, it's definitely, definitely splat. I don't know what you're talking about. It's definitely splat. Like, definitely. So, we're going to have to work out where to, to put the new splat. And I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I don't know where to put him. I, I'll have to figure that out. But I mean, so far, out of all of the, the pets I've had on here, 
Splat has been my closest pet. I mean, it did take me about two hours to get him to my first house. So, I, I gotta give it to him. You know, it's really sad when you've made a house for a, a slime before you've even furnished your own house. I have problems. But anyway, we can finally name Splat. This needs to be like a ceremony. Come on. <laughs> Splat is back. <laughs> Splat is back! Oh my god, he's so cute. And oh my god, he's totally the same slime that I had before. Definitely. Aren't you? See, he's jumping with joy. Okay, so there has been a few updates um, in regards to my lore. That's there now. <laughs> and as you can see, I have, you know, definitely prioritised lately instead of, you know, furnishing my very important house. Look at him over there, he's so cute. I have done the outside instead because, you know, that's always very helpful. <laughs> I've done like a lot of foliage and stuff and it's just looking really pretty and then lots of leaves up there and around here and why? Why is it that both times that you've been on my videos you're in very weird places? No, don't, don't look at me like that. Iron Golem is broke. Maybe that's why he's broken, because he spent too much time rusting in the in the pond. Get yourself fixed, mate. So yeah, I've decorated, I've put some trees here, I'm gonna build maybe another a huge branch going over to that bit over there so I can expand to over there. I've done some terraforming Sorry, I got caught on a vine. I've done some terraforming around here so you can see lots of rocks and stuff. And some over there as well. It's just to keep these things in here. To be honest, to stop them from, you know, getting free. It also makes it look a bit nicer. And I don't like how there's dirt under that stone and cobble. That annoys me. Because, you know, I'm a bit of a, a builder OCD. O OCD Builder, um, one of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit more terraforming and stuff. This is no in no way done. It's just somewhat nicer, and <laughs> yeah, it goes all the way down here. So it gets some wheat farms down here. They are still there. Oh wait, um, guys, I. I I've got another one. So we've we've got pork here and, and we've got crispy bacon. So those two are there and they're just chilling. I will eventually make them a house. So do not worry you two, you will get a house. You are not going to stay here forever. I've just had other prior I've just had other priorities. And then I've got some sugar cane over there. And then it comes to the bridge and it's Lovely. I, I I mean, it's a bit, you know, broken, but it, it was not a bridge. Why did I say it's a bridge? It's a pier. You, yeah. Let me start again. This is my lovely pier. I mean, it's a bit broken, but, you know, it's, it's still a functioning pier. And, I mean, I could go off sailing from here, even though I've got, you know, an, an elytra. Which I will discuss in a second. <laughs> and then, obviously, over there, we've got... You're stuck on the fence again, aren't you? You stupid panda! I need to expand this out, because these guys... Can you... You're so close to getting out. Can you just... 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 I, ha I have got names for these three guys, I just... I haven't gotten around to putting name tags on them. Can you stop going on the fences? Thank you. You're still up there, which is good. Oh, are you coming down? This is the original. That's the brown one. Where's your child? Oh, there it is. Are you stuck? I think you're stuck, aren't you? 
Because you were here in the last episode. Or whenever I announced it. I can't... I, you know, I've got the memory of a goldfish, so... And then um, we've got so you know, sea goat says one in that direction as well. Uh, he's uh, there. He is. He's over there. Um, we're we're not going to discuss the sheer amount of animals that are currently residing in my ocean around my house. You know, it's to be honest. This is the realm of weird animals. To be honest, because we, I mean, we've got sea pigs, um, sea goats. Where are you? Are you over there? Sea goats, and we've got a very confused iron golem uh, over there, and um, uh, millions of you know axolotls. We're still like even though they're down there, they are still f managing to get fish down there, which is very confusing. <laughs> and yeah, that is the actually that's not all the updates so far. So, I have officially sent off my law. Now, I know I was talking about my law in the last one and blah blah blah, but that wasn't the whole story. This is a continuation. So, I have been doing a little bit of storytelling, which I actually really like doing. And I have come up with a little story or a little law for myself. Again, as I said in the last episode, it has nothing to that is going to affect, you know, the outcome of the server or anything. Yeah, you know, it's it's a nice little backstory for me. That's that's what it is. Why are you up here? Go back down. You stupid axolotl. I've had so many problems with axolotls. You may look cute, but you're an absolute pain. <laughs> so if we if we come down here past the millions of axolotls I've been doing a little bit of building, and don't don't mind this stuff. If we come this way, you will see this, which you saw at the start of the video. And this is my little little cave thing. And I know I didn't explain what it is at the start of the video. I apologize. I'm going to explain it now. But this is going to be the portal to the. I think I called it the sacred realm. This is the portal to the sacred realm. And that is where I res have come from, I think. So, yes, this is the portal to the sacred realm. It looks really fancy, <laughs> but um, yeah, that that's the portal. So I, when I came to this land, I came out of the portal and explored the land and met people and things. So, that is, that is the story of me, and you may notice my ultra amazing elytra. That is because the residents of the sacred realm are actually they. So, they're kind of like fairies, but with a fancier name. So, <laughs> so I'm going along with the whole idea of the healer still. And that I can imbue magic into water and books, aka potions and enchanted books. So that is that's that. And then I kind of had to find a explanation as to how I can do that. So I went for a magical fictional being that you know is totally real. I do believe in fairies. I do. I do. Sorry. So that is that's my origin story. So I came to this land with magical powers to make potions and enchanted books, and I came to see how people lived in this world. And I joined teams and other things that we won't discuss. But when things started changing. I began to get very confused and I didn't know what to do. So I have now become a neutral party. So I will now help anyone that is willing or well, not willing. I will help anyone that wants my help. So that is me. Like as you know, I am I 
sink a good builder and you know I will help people with builds and obviously I'll be selling my enchanted books and my potions so there is that yes and yeah that's about it I think so if you honestly need my help with anything on the server I've said before on the server that I'm not a PvPer. <laughs> like I'm terrible. Hence why I, you know, stick to building. <laughs> and yeah, that is that. So yeah, if you need my help if you're on the server, just ask. And eventually I will get my shop and library up and running. So that will also be complete in the near future. Which I'm hoping you guys will see. It's pretty soon, at least. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this episode. No, oh, there we go. <laughs> That's pretty much it for this episode. Oh yeah, I got my, my I got my own flag, by the way, guys. Like every nation, although I'm not a nation, has their own flag. And this is the flag. This one right here. Look up. There we go. This is the flag of the Caves of Serenity, which is what this is. This cave is called the Cave of Serenity, and yeah, this this cave is what holds the portal to the sacred realm. I may be talking complete nonsense, but you know, it makes sense in my head, somewhat. Not really. That is, that is the continuation of my lore. We have completed in reviving Splat at last. He's now just chilling up in our house. And yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's chilling over here, so he's happy now. Oh, the uh, the grass filled in. That's nice. That was quick. And yeah, that is that's my update. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and it means a lot the amount of support that you give me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. So scared I was gonna hit him then. Please don't kill. Please don't kill me. Bye. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection.